Hello Valar, Harry here, TF2 Gameplay commentating, you know it, on King of the Hill Badlands, the best goddamn map ever. I'm still missing textures, and I'm still playing Soldier, because Soldier's really fun on this map, and because my computer doesn't like Team Fortress 2 half the time. They have a complicated relationship, you know, sometimes they're together and everything's working fine, sometimes there's just little discrepancies between them, and sometimes it's just full-blown, they're angry at each other, and there are angry error signs all over the place, and there's angry lag, and it's just filled with conflict and badness, and flaming scouts that I can't hit with a shotgun, you know, and it's, you know, the huge. So, I saw that guy coming up there, so I'm going to start shooting rockets at him. I don't know where he's gone at this one. I'm supposing the spy stabbed him, but then, ah, that was the other spy. And he got me with his reward with the side stab, which made me feel sad, because you always feel that little bit of shame when you get killed by a spy, because you're like, oh, I should have recognized him. And I saw that guy, he was a pretty obviously a spy, and I'm not sure if I get the dingy noise or whatnot. I got an assist on him there. It's kind of amusing for a single rocket that I just kind of shot, just, you know, to test, really. So Pyro's up there, I'm pretty sure he's not going to be able to air blast me because for the most part the people I'm playing with on here are pretty bad, not to not to shame them or anything, but I think this is a Valve server, so don't uh, don't don't judge me by this gameplay. I'm not playing with the highest quality of people here at the moment. So yeah, I wasn't expecting him to be able to air blast, so I figured I'd just shoot at him, you know, and then just, what, where are all these crits coming from? Where'd that Pyro come from? I don't even know. And here's the, the escape plan doing work. Still, still probably the best item for the soldier, even after the nerf. Um, so yeah, all those random crits, I just get in lucky, lucky and critical th stuffs today. And this dude, he's gonna get rocketed down while the spy just decides to run straight at him. You know, the WM1 spy, pretty, basically the most powerful class in the game when you do that. And then, why? Why do people do this? Why do people put sentries there and just tank them for no reason? Oh, I suppose his strategy is to carry out the sentry. I don't know. I'm kind of... It feels so weird to think that engineers then used to be able to carry their buildings, you know? Like, you wouldn't be able to k pick up your sentry anymore. It's... God, it just feels weird to say that. But, I mean, I guess now his strategy is, you know, build it up. And I, I, I was just guessing that guy was a spy. I didn't even know. I just shot a rocket at him just in case. And, well, you know, he was. But, yeah, it's just... So he's probably just going to pick it up and move it to the point eventually. But he just sits there tanking it in front of his spawn. It's so, so stupid. He could be helping his team so much more by doing anything else. So I saw someone what used to be on the point, so I'm a little bit wary of my surroundings. And, yep, there he is. There he is bringing his stupid sentry over here. And, nope, you're just going to get blown up. And all that work was for nothing. So, yeah, now I know that the sentry's gone. So I'm going to go over here and kill the level 3 dispenser. Why did you take the time to make the level 3 dispenser? Oh, my God. But yeah, kill the medic, because you always want to kill the medics. He was a quick fix medic, so, you know, probably not the highest priority in the world, but still more priority than that apparently oblivious soldier with his shotgun out just running a, running around here. So now they're all people are all clumped up, which is great for when you have little area effect weapons like the um, the, the stock at launcher. So I'm going to run back and grab myself some health, because there's a medic and a pyro, and they could probably just chase me down and murder me pretty fast. He's, oh, God. That guy's a spy. Get in our medic. That was bad. I didn't even... I didn't, He fooled me, though, actually. That guy... He's actually pretty efficient at fooling people as a spy. You know, he stabbed me earlier. I get fooled by spies a lot. I guess, you know, when they have, like, five spies on their teams, you know, the odds just go up. But So, obviously, you see the scout running in there, so I shoot a rocket in there, but he dies before I get to hit him with a rocket. So, that's that's a little bit disappointing. I didn't get to see his beautiful gibbs fly all over the screen. But, you know, beggars can't be choosers, I suppose. And this guy, again, he wants to put up his stupid sentry again, and I say, nope, 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 and I blow it up. Because there's so many other things you could be doing. You could be playing medic, or you could be playing scout, or you could be playing soldier, or devil man, and not just level three sentries on King of the Hill, Badlands, engineer, and bleh. it's gross. It's disgusting. And if you if you play engineer on this map and you just build level three sentries, I um I kind of want to slap you, honestly. So we're doing a little bit of spawn camping, not serious spawn camping, just kind of spawn damaging, you know, so so that they have to just stall them a little. We're not actually trapping them inside spawn, just kind of stalling them, because this is King of the Hill, so the longer that they take to get out to the point, the longer we um, we make sure we wins, which we're doing now, actually. We're at a, what a beautiful segue. High five for the win, and that's the end of the video. So perfectly timed high five. I love that taunt. It's pretty fantastic. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm Harry. Goodbye.